Welcome back to The Magic and the Music. I'm Jen. You know, before we jump right into our Guardians of the Galaxy video, and you're going to want to see this because it is an amazing, amazing ride, we want to announce a brand new segment here on The Magic in the Music. Our new segment is called What's That Disney? We're going to show you a photo or play an audio clip of anything from the world of Disney, not the store, everything, the company, anything Disney, and you get to guess where you think it came from. We're going to have you leave your guesses down in the comments below, and we're going to find out among our viewers whose Disney knowledge reigns supreme. If you're the first person with the correct guess in the comments below. You're going to get a shout out on our very next video that we record here in our home studio. So here it is. Go ahead and leave your guesses right down below in the comments and let's see who can figure it out first. All right, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to ride the brand new Disney World attraction at Epcot Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind three times in one day. Yes, it is possible. So we're going to show you how to do that. We're also going to be giving you some detailed instructions and tips about getting that boarding group. So let's get started. The first way that you can ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is by securing a reservation or what they call a boarding group. There is no cost for this. All you have to have is a valid park ticket and a reservation for Epcot on the day that you wish to go. At 7 a.m., you have the opportunity to book a boarding group. Now, time is of the essence and you need to move really fast. Some of you may have actually watched my video or other people's videos about the rise of the resistance boarding groups. And in many ways it's very similar, but in some key ways it is actually different and kind of easier and less stressful. So if you have that in your mind going in, I think that you'll find this is a lot more relaxing experience than it was to get that rise of the resistance boarding group. That really stressed me out. This one's not nearly as bad. Another great thing about the 7 a.m. boarding group is that you can book this from anywhere as long as you've got your reservation for the theme park. So it's really perfect and a lot more relaxing than the way that it used to be with the other old system. You're going to want to prepare yourself a few minutes ahead of time. So make sure that you are awake and ready to go. I usually do that about 15 minutes ahead of time. Now, the directions are going to vary a little bit depending on where you're located. If you are at a private residence that has fast Wi-Fi or any place where you have a really fast network connection and you're not surrounded by a lot of other people who are trying to do the same thing as you, you can stay on Wi-Fi, that's fine. But for us, staying at a Disney resort, we know there are many people around us who are trying to book that same boarding group at the same time. We wanna get off the Wi-Fi and you'll wanna do the same if you are in the same situation. You're also going to want to turn off all of the other apps uh, or programs that are running on your device. So for me as an iPhone user, that means I would press and pull up on the screen and that's gonna show me all the different windows of apps I have running and then I'm gonna swipe those up to close all of them and get them all closed out, all except for my Disney experience. Of course, you're gonna wanna be logged into that. That's very important. Make sure that you have the fully updated version of that. Another thing that can speed up the process for you is confirming your party. You will have a party probably unless you're alone, you would go into the app and you're gonna go um, on the little hamburger menu down at the bottom right corner and you're gonna go to the virtual queues. And here you're going to see Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. And then you can go into that and it usually gives you the opportunity, at least it did for us, to confirm our party ahead of time. That is really time saving. It's very important to get that step out of the way so you don't have to do that at 7 a.m. because you can actually do that ahead of time. Now, don't worry about it if anybody is missing from this. Let's say you had a party of five and one of the people in the party was not there. Don't worry about that right now. Go ahead and go for that boarding group and guest services cast members who are under those navy blue umbrellas near the attractions can help you with this later. It's most important that you get that boarding group now and then later you can get assistance with anything that might have gone wrong along the way. But you've got to have that boarding group or they can't really help you. 
Okay, you'll notice that there is a refresh button now. In the old days, we used to have to pull the menu down to refresh it. Now there is just a button that you can hit. So you can either choose to begin hitting that button continuously each time it refreshes, or on our last trip, our friend who was able to book this every time out of our party of five, we were all trying and she was always the fastest. She was hitting the refresh button and pulling down on the screen to refresh. So she was kind of doing both at the same time. Um, either way, you're good to go. It's gonna get you there. Start doing that at about 6.59 and 40 seconds. Now, a lot of people will say, wait right until the clock strikes seven. Um, we had, every time we booked it, our friend who started doing it before seven, she got it every single time. So if you really wanna get in there early and, and get the earliest possible boarding group, I would actually start refreshing before 7 a.m. Now, once you have your boarding group, don't worry if somebody is missing or if you know there's someone in there that you didn't need to put in there. They can go sort that out for you. Just go to the navy blue umbrellas that say guest experience and the cast members in the theme park are going to be able to help you with that. You will be given an estimated return time. Now be mindful that this return time can shift around. When we got it at first, it said I think 140 minutes and then all of a sudden after about an hour had passed, it was like, oh no, it's it's uh, now and then suddenly look it's expired it was crazy it was all over the place and there was no possible way we could have gotten there in time and they did let us in a little bit late on the very first time we wrote it just be flexible keep checking back um, you know don't look at the return time and then not look at it for another four hours because it may actually move up or whatever depending on how ride operations are going for that day so you know just uh, keep up on it and check back and see if the return time has changed at all our return time was pretty long when we got our very first boarding group and then it like accelerated and jumped up much, much earlier. And so, um, you know, we actually ended up getting there after it was said it had expired, even though it was before what the original estimate was supposed to be. I'd say just show up. I wouldn't even say anything. I just go right through scan and we had no problem getting right in. I wouldn't show up five hours after your return time, but if you show up at a reasonable amount of time, I'm pretty sure the cast members are gonna be helpful and accommodating. At this point, I think it's really important to mention that in our experience booking this on several different days, we found it to be much, much easier than booking Rise of the Resistance. So if you're worried that it's gonna be that same kind of experience where it's like just this white knuckle, stressful, horrible experience, we found it to be much easier. And when I say much easier, I mean like instead of selling out in in one second, it might take 10 seconds. Now, don't quote me on it. Different days, you will have different experiences. Your mileage may vary, but I definitely felt like it wasn't quite as frantic desperation to get that boarding group. It was a little easier and I have a feeling it may be because this ride is a little more thrilling, has some spinning, and there aren't quite as many people who are comfortable riding it as Rise of the Resistance. We have been successful in booking Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind every single time that we have tried to book it. So hopefully you are going to have the same kind of luck. Okay, so hopefully you got in at the 7 a.m. booking window. If you didn't, there is another opportunity at 1 p.m. You're going to want to follow the exact same directions for 1 p.m. The only difference is you actually need to be in Epcot at the time. So it's really important that you find a place that you can separate, move apart from people just a little bit, make sure you have really good signal. And again, I would get off that Wi-Fi and just use your uh, your data plan for your cell phone. I have a feeling a lot of you are gonna get that 7 a.m. one, so I wouldn't stress about it too much, but you may find yourself also vying for the 1 p.m. Really important to note that you cannot book a boarding time both at the 7 a.m. release and the 1 p.m. release. You are not eligible for two of those, it's one or the other. Jen, you said we could write it three times. We're getting to that. Okay, the second way that you can ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind in a day at Epcot is to purchase a paid lightning lane. Yes, sadly, this one is not free. When we went to Disney World on our recent trip, we did choose to purchase the paid lightning lane on one of our days at Epcot. At the time, it was $14 per guest. The good news is you don't have to purchase Genie Plus in order to get the paid lightning lane. You can just buy that all on its own. 
And one of the nice things that we liked about that was that we had the option of selecting the return time that we wanted, like a, a window that fit with our schedule. And so that's a really great option for you. Yes, you can go ahead and book that 7 a.m. And then you could book another ride on Cosmic Rewind later in the day by paying for that paid Lightning Lane. You can do that from the My Disney Experience app. You just go to the attraction in the app and you'll see the option if it's available still to book that. Now, once again, time does matter. These will sell out and you will need to make sure that you do it in a timely manner. So just do it early in the day. These go on sale also at 7 a.m. Pick your time and book it. You should have plenty of time to book one after you have done your boarding group at 7 a.m. Okay, are you ready for ride number three? Three times. This one's a little trickier because not every single guest is going to be eligible for this, but quite a few guests still are eligible. And the way that you're gonna ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind the third time is by taking advantage of a perk that is offered to deluxe resort guests at Disney World. If you are staying at a Disney deluxe resort, you have the opportunity of booking an additional boarding group at 6 p.m. And this only happens on days when they are offering extra hours for deluxe resort. These extra hours have been offered on Mondays at Epcot and Wednesdays at Magic Kingdom, pretty much all through 2022. And so far they have been continuing through early October of 2022. Now we don't know for sure if this is gonna continue after that, but if you have the opportunity to take advantage of these extra hours, we highly recommend it. We've done it several times and it has been very, very worthwhile. You get two extra hours in the theme park, where you can ride rides, especially those ones that get really long queues. And it's just an opportunity to get a lot done with fewer guests in the theme park. And the best news about these extra hours at Epcot is that you have another opportunity to get a boarding group for Cosmic Rewind. And that's exactly what we did when we were at Disney World last. Now the booking time for this extra hours boarding group is at 6 p.m. So be sure that you set an alarm on your phone or device around 5.45 p.m. or so, and you're gonna wanna make sure that you get into a space, once again, where you're not too crowded, there aren't too many people around you. You uh, turn off the Wi-Fi, shut down the apps, just find a quiet spot, and go for it. It's exactly the same procedure as booking the 7 a.m. or the 1 p.m but it's a separate system. And even if you had a 7 a.m. one like we did on the day of the extra hours that we did this, we were still able to book a 6 p.m. boarding group as well. On the day that we attended extra hours, they were running from 9 p.m. until 11 p.m. So you should expect that your boarding group return window is going to be in that time. When we did it, our return window was basically about 9.15, it was 9.00, 9.15 or 9.20. So obviously if you book this, your return window is going to fall into that two hour window when the extra hours are happening. When we wrote it in the extra hours, it was by far the least crowded that we had ever experienced it. We went straight through, the rooms weren't even full in the pre-show. And when we left the second pre-show and went to kind of the ramps that took us to the loading area, I mean, there was no one there. We just kind of walked straight through. It was amazing, such an amazing experience. So if you get the opportunity to take advantage of these deluxe guest extra hours, I would highly recommend it. And if you are a DVC member like we are, and we do a lot of videos about DVC, all of the DVC resorts are eligible for these extra hours because they all fall under the category of deluxe resorts. Hey, if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit like below. And leave us a comment. If you haven't already put in your guests for What's That Disney, make sure that you put your guests in as well. Have you done the trifecta of all three ways to ride? Go ahead and brag about it if you've done it. We want to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you like this video and leave your comment below and your guests for What's That Disney. If you want to learn more about Disney or Disney Vacation Club, check out our videos right over here. And we also think you're going to love this video right here. Thanks so much for joining us today. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Bye.